Today is day 170 of Blender. It is also July 27, 2022, and this is Wednesday. And I think I got up to like watching eight minutes of the video that I have linked um, in today's day and also day 169 and 167, which is the video on like differential growth add-on. Um, so I got to know a little bit more about some of the parameters, and so I guess I'll try to put that to use today. So I'll delete the cube by pressing X and then I'll do shift A mesh circle and then I go to edit mode by pressing tab and then the vertices should all be selected already and so I'll just do E to extrude, S to scale and then zero so that it scales like all the way to zero and then I'll do M and um, merge all of the vertices at the center. All right, and then I'll go over here to object data properties in the properties panel and as I'm selecting all of the vertices here I'll do alt and then select those vertices um, I'll just click on add and then assign the weights to those vertices and now if I go into weight paint mode I should be able to see it red on the outer where the vertices are and then a little bit cooler on the inside and then if I go to um, object properties the differential growth add-on should be here um, okay, so according to the guy um, in the video, um, the detail, or at least the parameters that really control the detail, is the split are the split radius and repulsion radius. Um, but he let the this button do the work for a few um, kind of clicks, and then what he did was he um, went back and kind of decreased the, um, what do you call it, the split radius and repulsion radius so that the edges of the flower in this case would be more detailed. So if I go here now and change this to 0 0.3, we'll try to see what the difference is. Yeah, so the flowers are getting more detailed instead of it growing like outwards now, it's really just giving more details to the, the petals, I guess. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, that works, I guess. Um, let me see. So if I go back into object mode, I'll be able to see something like that. But what I would like is the petal not to be so like big over here and I believe that the parameter that controls that is a split radius so it tells it when to like start you know um, subdividing the vertices so I guess I'll just do GY and move that over here to the side and just do this one more time hello Merge at center and then alt select the vertices and then object data properties plus assign weights. Now, if I go into weight paint, nope, wrong thing. Weight paint, okay, that's good. So, I guess I'll just go back into object mode properties and then let me think do I want maybe the split radius to be 0 0.3 and then the repulsion radius, I guess, will be. The same, probably going to weight paint mode so I can kind of see it better. Oh, it actually became even bigger. Which is not what I want. Okay, so I guess I have to, what did I do? Decrease? So I have to increase it, I guess. So let me do control Z. And then... Weight paint. It was 0 0.5, so I guess I'll do 0 0.8 maybe. Okay, now it's working. But then again, it's like eh. So 
to know how about I go back to 0 0.5 and now let's see no because see it's still doing that so I guess it's not possible to have like a small center if that is yours I think that's good though I mean it looks more like fried wire honestly or like aluminum paper but whatever And then if I decrease this to 0 0.7 or something, there's going to be more detail now on the petals. All right, so let me do something like 0 0.2. Alright, so that's one shape. Now if I go back to object mode, I mean, yeah, sure. It works, I guess. Um, go over here to material preview, and then maybe I'll get in some colors. I think I'm not going to do this stem today, I'm just going to do like, um, just a normal flower. All right, so for this one, I'll go to, um, Material properties, which is in the properties panel over here, which is kind of like the dartboard. Um, and then I'll go to base color and change the hex to be the color that I just copied. And then maybe um, I'll get this color too. Just paste that in there. So it's something like that. And then Maybe G, Y, have it kind of like this. Maybe, maybe I'll duplicate it. I could use an array modifier, but I don't think that's currently necessary right now. G, Y, something like that. G, X, G, Y, G, X. G, Y and then GX. I mean, I guess. Let me shrink this one by scaling it down. Probably pick another color so that there's contrast. Hmm, I should have probably picked that blue one that I just saw. Let me go back. Ooh, I could do the purple one. I think that fits a uh, thing better. The scheme. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, so hold on. Let me do Control Z. And then object relations makes it a user object just materials and then I can change the material of this one without it changing the original and I'll just do shift D and put one over here maybe I will do the stems because it's looking like a really nice bouquet and then let's see I'll do shift D G X G Y to the left and then Maybe this one, shift D, G, X, maybe scale it down, G, Y, put that in there, shift D, put that right there, maybe bring it down a little bit, um, let me see, maybe Something like that. 
I guess that's good or whatever. And then, um, I guess I will do the stems. And so the way I'll do the stem, or actually, do I want to do a stem? I could do a vase. Oh my god. I can do a vase. Hold on. G, Y. Let me go here, right? Do shift A, mesh, cube, uh, geometry nodes, um, new, add, mesh primitives, cone, put that in there. Let's see, I can do radius top something like this. All right, put that there. Um, and then I'll change the fill type to none. And then what I'll do is I'll just apply that geometry node, go into layout, right click, shade smooth, and then in edit mode by pressing tab, I'll just um, make sure I'm in edge select, and then I'll alt and edge select the bottom, and then press F to give it a face, right? Um, and then I guess I'll just go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier. So I can kind of extrude uh, the mesh, something like that. Let me see how it looks like over here, I guess. Um, and I can just even thickness, oops. And then I can apply that. And then let me see if I could do a bevel. That makes it much more sharp. Okay, apply that. And then I'll go ahead and give it a transparency. Do I want to give it transparency? I don't know. Let me make it black for now. And then I'll see if I would want it. I want to have it like transparent. All right. And so I'll do S and kind of scale that over here. G, Z, bring these up. G, Y, put them over here. And then I'll have to make the stem. So I'll do shift A and I do maybe like a a bezier curve, S to scale that up a lot, and then rotate maybe 90 degrees on the Y, and then I'll go here to object data properties, geometry, um, the depth maybe 0 0.02, right, and then 0 0.01, that's actually a lot, so maybe 0 0.01 here, I mm, don't oh know. And then maybe S and then Z to scale that down. Put that kind of right in there. Um, and then let's see, I can do a color and I can make it green or something. I don't know. I need like a dark green, so let me bring that down the saturation. It's like very unrealistic green, but it's fine. All right, um, and then I'll just have to kind of duplicate this. So let me see. So maybe I should bring all of these down a bit, right? And then I can just get this one and kind of scale it a bit so that it reaches the top and then let me see does it go through the top yeah that's not what i want control z control z maybe i just want to do g and then put that up there maybe g y kind of like that all right and then what i'll do is i'll just do shift d g y let me go over here and then I'll just, um, I'll rotate it around the Z by 180, so it's the opposite way. And let's just do G1, put that in there, something like that. Um, and then it doesn't really make sense to have these here, so I'll just do G, Z to bring them a little bit down, G, Y to put them kind of over here, maybe rotate them this way, GZ, kind of bring this a little bit down, G, not G, but maybe R, 
and then just bring this a little bit down bit down also and then this a little bit down and then rotate it this way and then maybe g y g x kind of over here and then let's see maybe i can have like this one does it make this let me rotate it this way g x put that in there i don't even think that makes sense g x g y there we go and then maybe what i need is to put this here and scale this down a little bit rotate it this way g c g y g x g c g y something like that i don't think that looks fine right um yeah sure um and then i guess i don't know should i do a fluid simulation let me save this real quick what's today's date 7 27 22. all right so i'm gonna go to rendered preview now and see what i can do about this base i don't know if i want to make it transparent and then add like a fluid simulation or if i just want to leave it black Alright, so that's what it's looking like. Um, maybe you could just oh, rotate that a little bit like that. Okay. Um, maybe I don't even know, whatever. Um, let's see. I can definitely just shrink absolutely everything. What I can do though, what did I just do? Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> can this thing go back? Hello? Oh my god. I have no idea what I just did. No, 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 no. Hello? Okay, I don't know how to fix this, but I'm just going to turn the selection thing on. And then let me just unselect the camera so that I can select it. And then also the light. All right, and now if I select everything, it's not going to select the camera or the light. So we'll do GZ, bring that down. Okay. Um, and then let me see i'll be able to kind of see it a little bit better right and then the light where oh it's because i okay let me unselect that now unselect the camera bring that up all right and then the light if i click on it so root oh i can't rotate it because it's not a sun but if i set it to be a sun change it to four maybe g y kind of move it this way and then I'll go to front view, nope, right view, and then I'll do control alt numpad zero. So that kind of, I don't like that view though. I kind of like this view, but it's a little lacking over here. So what I'll do is I'll just take this one and just move this here. I think that's a little bit nicer. Control alt numpad zero, kind of bring that down. So that looks nicer. Um, now as for the vase, I feel like it could definitely be a little bit prettier, couldn't it? Uh, I don't know, do I like that? I could give it a metal material. Metal oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? Okay, if this thing freezes on me. Alright, so. It has metallic, but. 
there we go. That looks more metallic. Although it doesn't because now it's zero. Something like that. And then the roughness. Would have to be near zero so that it's shiny. Alright. Or do I want to make it transparent? I don't know. I feel like it'll look weird if it's transparent. But I could definitely make it a different color. Um, what's the color that goes with? Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, that's it. I guess I'll do that. Zero. Okay. And then for the backdrop, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to do Shift A, Plane, S to Scale, and then kind of root? Nope, nope. That's not what I wanted. Rotate on the Z. So it's kind of like this. Um, kind of like it matches my view, right? And then I'll do Edge Select, select the back edge, easy to extrude, and then I'll just do S, and then kind of scale it this way and then I'll make it a backdrop by going to modifiers and adding a bevel so that the edge over here has a bevel and now it becomes you know a backdrop right click shade smooth apply the bevel and then I'll do that and now that looks really pretty doesn't it that's so pretty all right and then I will render that All right, and here's the final product. Although I don't really like the shadow, so maybe do I want to get rid of the shadow? Let me save this first. So what's today's date? 7, 27, 22, R for render, and then I'll do shadow for shadow. Desktop, blender, render, save image. All right, and then maybe if I go to, where's the light? Where's the light? Where's everything? All right, light. Um, and then I go to Object Data Properties and deselect Shadow. It goes away, but then it looks a little bit more fake, doesn't it? And I like the shadow over here. How about I just go to the um, backdrop and then I just go to Material Properties. Oh, I didn't give it a material. Okay, I'll just give it a material then. Um, and then change the, uh, where is it? The sub, the sucky specular. Oh, that even makes it worse. Specular. Oh, usually works. Guess not. How about mm, I don't even know. I could change the base color. Green is cute. This is really cute. I hate the shadow though. How do I make let me Google. How do I what? How do I make a surface resistant to shadows in Blender? No. No. I guess that's not something that people ask. How to get rid of shadows. How to get rid of shadows in Blender. No, that's not what I want. I still want the shadow, I just don't want it on this specific backdrop. 